Welcome to Farm Charm Chic. I'm Emily. In today's episode, I am making some beautiful Easter crafts and DIYs. I am so excited to show you these. I am making them using the Creality Falcon 2 laser, which I am also extremely excited to show you this new machine. If you like crafting, DIYs, dupes, hacks, thrift flips, or just creating in general, I would love if you would consider subscribing and becoming my crafting BFF. If you do like any of today's project or loved learning about this laser, remember to give this video a thumbs up. But let's go check out this machine. I am really excited to take you guys along this journey of using and learning the Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver. This machine is unlike any other laser engraver that I've used before. It is currently, it is my favorite laser that I have ever used. So I'm so excited to share with you. Now, if you're interested in the laser process, hopefully this helps you. Even if you just want to see the cute projects that I make at the end, because trust me, they're so stinking cute. Maybe you're thinking of starting a business. Maybe you just want to have the capability to uh, enhance or plus your crafts a little bit more. This is going to be a great machine for you. Now, as I'm looking here, here, these are the safety glasses that you'll wear as you use this machine. This right here is the laser itself. And then it comes with this honeycomb that you'll use for your surface that you're cutting on. It has feet on the bottom of it, which I absolutely love because it lifts it a little bit. So that way, if you have little pieces of wood that fall down or anything, they don't get in the way. They just fall all the way through. It doesn't have to rest on those. So now the only thing that I had to do with this machine is I just had to attach um, the cables, of course. There's some little feet that screw on and it comes with an extra set of feet so you can stack them to have it go another couple of inches higher which is great if you have a thicker project that you're working on or something. And so I really like that. And you'll see as I put these feet on here, they have this really good rubber padding on the bottom. It's not going anywhere. I mean, I it's very well secure. And then you just attach the laser. It's super simple. The fact that you don't have to assemble the frame itself, I mean, that was, I was so excited about that, that it comes pre-assembled. Um, and really, it's just a matter of putting the piece, like little puzzle pieces here. And it's not that hard. You uh, slide the laser on there, and then you just adjust the little screws there to hold it in tight. And then it has a little cord that just plugs right into the motor there that you'll see me do here in just a second. I mean, easy peasy. I would say that altogether, this process took me less than 15 minutes. At least that's what my video, when I, because I filmed myself doing this. This, that's what it showed was 15 just under 15 minutes that it took me to do all of this and then I was literally up and going and cutting things with my laser so let's head out to my studio and see this thing in action one of the things I love to do first when I'm getting to know a laser is they always send you some type of demo item to cut out and Creality sends you this really cool falcon with their, fa their falcon lasers. And uh, so I always like to try that first. You kind of get to see the machine and know how it works. Now, safety first, whenever you're using this machine, you always want to have on your safety glasses here, these green glasses that block the blue light. I have several pairs of these. I always have them on. I have curious friends that want to come and see things. My husband wants to be out in the shop with me and and so I just, you always want to have some of those on hand. Now, one of the coolest things about this machine is it has a groundbreaking integrated air assist. So you'll be able to see at the top of the laser here, there's two, one is the electricity going into that, the other one is air, and it is constantly blowing, and you can kind of see that smoke coming up. That air is blowing underneath and on that cut the laser so you don't get any burn or scorch marks it completely completely eliminates that now watch how cool this is as i pull this up here i mean it cuts so good that you really i mean look at that that's amazing and there's no like pieces that were left behind it cuts so crystal clear now this is just showing you the triple monitoring system here so it monitors the airflow which uh, is the volume of the airflow so you, it goes from no air when it's green you can tell that the air is flowing the lens portion shows if it's dirty and the flame will let you know if there's a flame detects a flame and it will stop immediately now there's a pause button that you can see that i'm pushing there if for some reason your doorbell rings or you somebody comes out to talk to you, you can't hear something, you need to pause it for any reason, there is that pause button and it restarts right where it is. It's so fantastic. Now, the cool thing about this machine is it engraves on metal. And so they sent me this little stainless steel square to try. And so I just typed the word hello in there and engraved on it. And I was so, I had no idea the settings of what to put it on, but I mean, it worked so well. Look at how cool that is. I mean, I'm like, I have the cutest little dog. Everybody thinks our dog's cute, but I'm like, I'm going to make some cute little dog tags for her anyway 
You guys know that I'm a crafter. That is primarily what my channel is. I am going to put this machine to work to enhance my crafting, uh, to be able to sell crafts, um, sell kits, all types of things like that. And this machine is perfect for that. So I'm just showing you here some of the files that I'm cutting out that I'll be able to show you how I put those all together here at the end. Now I will leave a link in my description box for all of the information, including where I get my supplies and my, the files that I use and things like that. As well, of course, is information on this machine and um, all types of things like that. So check my description box for a little bit more information. And it's Easter time, so I thought it would be perfect to do a couple little spring and Easter DIYs here. But I had to keep adjusting my light burn settings to do less passes on this wood. With some of my other lasers that I've used, I've had to do like eight or nine passes to get these to cut out. This one, literally like two passes and it was cut through. I mean, it is going to cut down on my time immensely. I mean, this is a 22 watt laser. It is more powerful than any laser I have ever used before and it's fantastic. But let's go decorate some of these DIYs and see how they turn out. After I cut all of those other projects out, I was really impressed with this machine and I kind of wanted to test its limits a little bit. I've always wanted to cut a little bit of thicker wood projects. So I grabbed some MDF board. This is three quarter inch or about 19 millimeter MDF board. And I just had some left over and I thought it would be really cute to do one of these little bunnies. And this machine cut through this so easily. I mean, it wasn't a challenge. I mean, it just literally cut like butter through this and it popped right out. I mean, I literally was like, what? I mean, look at how, I mean, there's no snags, nothing. I mean, it cut perfectly. With it still being too cold at my house to spray paint, honestly, we have had the coldest spring that I can remember in the, like the last few years. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm just using some paint markers to paint these letters and the paint markers are a life sa saver and a game changer. So I'm just using a piece of painter's tape to hold all these little teeny letters, which it still amazes me that this laser can cut out these little teeny tiny letters and they can be so perfect out of wood. Like it's just, it, I love that it can do it, but it still just boggles my mind that this is something that you can have in your own home to be able to do. And you can see how easily that I just have to give one coat of this paint marker to these um, different things. I think on the green here, I did go over them a couple of times, to be honest with you. But on the black, one coat was all it took. Now, I just got these files off of Etsy, and I will link all of those down in my description box. So that way, when you do get your laser, you've got a good place to go and know where I got these files from. Are you guys ready for a hack? When you're painting over shiplap cuts like this, use your little weeding tool from your Cricut. They sell them at Dollar Tree and look at how it fits right into that shiplap and it gets all of that paint out of there. Now to get your letters on here, I just use some type of super glue bond. And uh, this is Gorilla Glue that I'm using here. I've also used the DAP brand that I find at Lowe's. Uh, any type of glue like that is going to be perfect. Uh, wood glue even would work. Um, it just depends on what you have on hand and, and what you want to work with. Now, I was showing you at first that you can use like a little toothpick or a little stick to kind of spread the glue on, or I like to kind of just put a little bit on a plate there and kind of just dab my letters in, zhuzh them around in that glue to get them fixed on there. Anyhow, any way that you do that, you just want to make sure that you're using some type of permanent glue. Hot glue does not work the best with these laser cuts because you you want them to have a flat uh, connection with the piece. You don't want the hot glue to um, obviously number one melt and have the letters fall off but number two you don't want it to be popped out so far that it doesn't look like it's part of the sign but you guys this sign is one of my most favorite signs I love the crisp clean feeling of this sign this design was just perfect I love the contrast with the black and the white and then the orange of the carrots I think it is just darling and it would be a great addition to any home or to any store Etsy store that you have that you would want to sell I mean, the cuts that this laser made on this are just fantastic. Now onto the crafting part of this project here with the painting and everything. I'm so impressed with how well all of these pieces cut out. I'm just going to put a coat of white paint all over this cute little bunny here. And that way I'll still be able to see the little uh, marks around where I'm supposed to glue everything on. I use a little hack of using my Cricut weeding tool to kind of weed out his whiskers. I forgot to do the mouth, so you'll see me do that here in a minute. But I'm just staining the bottom piece that it will sit up with. And then just using these paint markers. Guys, these are, like I said, such a game changer when it comes to um, 
doing these little pieces, these intricate pieces like that. So I love using this. Um, and of course these carrots, like spray painting those would have been a hassle because you'd have to put the two different colors on them. So that's why I like that. And then here I'm just going to use some of the uh, Gorilla Glue that I'm using for this particular project to glue these carrots on. I just line those up to where the little marks are uh, on the bunny there. And I do the cute little ears. I decided to paint those a pink. I went around the edge with a little bit of red. So that way it would add a little bit of color contrast on there. I did the same thing with his little nose and then I just put that right. I mean, it's so easy to know exactly where to put all these so you're not trying to center things. And here's where I go in and fix his cute little mouth there. So I just think he's so cute. I love how this turns out. I hope you guys really like how this turns out. But Things like this you see sold at uh, craft fairs, boutiques, uh, uh, Etsy stores. I mean, things like this people pay good money for. And so to be able to provide that for your customers, to add that to your store, if that's something that you want to do, it's it's such a game changer the way that this machine works to cut all these pieces out so quickly. So you can, you know, as a crafter and you are doing this for money, you want to be able to have your turnaround time be quick. So you're not investing super long, hard hours. And so with the quickness of this machine and the precision of this machine, that's something that is totally possible there. I went around his little ears and his nose with a little detail white paint marker just to add some cute little um, dots and lines there just to kind of add a little bit of detail. And then just around his neck, I'm tying this little twine bow and it has the little 25 cents sign there that hangs from his neck there. And then I just did a little finger bow. You just wrap some twine around your fingers several times and then just tie it off in the middle. And then just using some hot glue, you're just gonna glue this on that knot that's there so it just looks like the bow was part of the twine that you wrapped around his neck. And here I'm just putting that down there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this bunny needs a name. You guys have got to comment down below and tell me what name to give this bunny because he is absolutely adorable. He needs a name. So let me know your ideas for names down in the comments. But how cute is this? I just love how it turns out. This machine made it so easy. I absolutely love this Falcon 2 and the way that it cuts out. And I just am so, I'm so excited about it. And I just, this bunny is so cute. Please help me name him though. I just love the detail that these carrots have with the cute little cutouts for the little ridges in the carrots there. Now, this is a stackable piece here. You can see that it's got the base piece and then we'll paint the carrot piece to put on the top of this background here. So I'm just staining this with some antiquing wax. Uh, I'll show you in just a second. I do some in white too, and you can decide which ones that you guys like better. Um, but again, these paint markers are so good to get all of that detail on here and that coverage because it doesn't go over the edge. Like if you were to paint these with some acrylic paint or chalk paint you don't get as crisp clean look as you do with these uh, or the spray paint and you guys honestly if you're going to be using a machine of this caliber and the, and it gives you such professional results you want a professional paint job with the items too so you want to make sure that everything you're doing uh, is the utmost um, best that you can and then just using some Gorilla Glue to glue these pieces together here you can see how cute they looked when they're stacked together on that background it really does just make those carrots pop and I was curious at this point what the white looked like so I'll show you in just a second what um, that does look like. I mean, look at how cute these are. Now I had some friends over for a little craft night and we made these carrots here. And so you can see one of my friends chose to do white on hers. And this was so fun to be able to show them this machine, to be able to provide this and do this. I mean, think of like craft classes that you could do with these items, you guys. Now you can see the white versus the brown there. So really it just kind of depends. I mean, you can do all sorts of different things, but we made these cute little pots that we stuck them into with some Spanish moss there. They had so much fun making these and look at how cute these turn out in the end. They really were so fun. And honestly, it just got me thinking like all the, of all the different things that you could do with having like the Falcon 2 laser machine that you could honestly have some craft classes, teach some people how to do some things, inspire that creativity as well as selling your products. But look at how cute these carrots turn out. So let me know if you like the white or the brown better. I think it kind of depends on the project that you're putting them in, but I really think these turned out so cute. So now we have these three darling bunnies that are cut out of the MDF board and I just painted them some Easter colors. I'm thinking kind of like the candy, the peep candy is what I was kind of going for with these. Took a few coats to get on there and then I wanted to make these little bases and so I did cut these little bases out so they would stand because they did kind of roll from side to side. And I'm just using some Gorilla Glue and they glued on so easily. 
I honestly, with these bunnies, I was so impressed that this machine cut through this thick of material. Uh, and so my mind is just reeling with all sorts of different ideas of things that I can cut and do. Now, I did just make a little twine bow and I thought that would be cute, kind of stuck around its neck. It might be cute to make a little tag and put like your kids' names on them or something or personalize them. But look at how adorable these are. I think they are perfect. I think like, I mean, they just scream Easter. And I, again, am so impressed that this machine cut through this thick of wood that I could make these really chunky bunnies here. What do you guys think of these? Do you like these? I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching me today use the Creality Falcon 2 laser. I absolutely loved using this laser. It's definitely my go-to laser now. It blows any other one that I've used out of the water. It is very high-end and professional. The time that it takes to cut is so much less than any other laser that I have used. So right there, I get time back, which, you know, time is... <laughs> everything, right? Especially when you craft for a living and you're constantly trying to crank out products and have things look high end and perfect. And this is a great solution to that. Remember to check my description box for all of the information on this laser down there so you can check that out as well as all of the other like supplies and things that I use. I'll leave those links down there as well. Also, this adorable bunny needs a name. So remember to comment down below with any ideas you have for a name because he is crying out for one. He is absolutely darling. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time. Happy crafting! If you like the video that you just saw and you want to keep crafting together, here's another video that you might enjoy. And as always, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.